Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at the pseudo vulnerability that was disclosed on October 14. This pseudo bug lets unprivileged users execute commands as root. All pseudo versions below 1.8.28 are vulnerable. Let me show you my pseudo version by doing sudo v and grep the version. It's 1.8.21, which is still vulnerable. Before I demonstrate the vulnerability, let's uh, understand how the sudo works and how it can be configured. The sudo command is useful when we require the privileges of an other user to issue a command. We use sudo to execute commands as a user. The sudo command can be configured by editing the slash etc slash sudoers file. So let me go to the sudoers file by doing sudo vi su do sudo. And here you can see in the user privilege specification that users root and bob have been configured. So what uh, how root have, has been configured is root can run all, uh, I mean root can uh, run commands from all terminals as all users and can, and can run any command, all commands. And bob can run from any terminal and as any user except root and he can run the command id and vi so let me exit out of this and switch to user bob and do a simple id and it shows i'm bob well if i did the same thing with sudo hyphen u as hacksaw it show it shows that i'm hexothermic so basically what we did here is I performed uh, the command id as user hacksaw and now if I do the same thing as root it won't let me so root so sorry user bob, bob is not allowed to execute id as root because we disallowed root another way you can specify the user is by using the user id that is uid so if i cat my slash etc slash pass wd file and grep for hacksaw it shows the user id to be thousand so i can perform the same command and instead of using the username i'm going to specify thousand as my uid and the command that is id and it still says hacksaw so this is another way to um, specify the user now, what is a pseudo vulnerability? Well, a user can run any command as root as long as the sudo's entry has the special all in the run as specifier. So, in order to exploit this vulnerability, we need to do uh, all we need to do is use minus one as a UID. So, before that, let me show you what um, that special all means. Well. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna switch user to hacksaw first, and I'm gonna do sudo vi sudo. And here, what I mean by that special all in the run as specifier is, here it run runs as any user except root. So here this keyword all is important. Anything with that all keyword run as all keyword well we can exploit this vulnerability so i'm going to clear my screen go back to bob Oops. now the way we can exploit this vulnerability is uh, instead of specifying the username or the user id we're going to just do hyphen u minus one so we are using uh, minus one or unsigned two's complement encoding equivalent of minus one and 32 bits. I'll show you that later. So if we do this, well, it says I'm root. Well, root wasn't allowed, right? Uh, another way that's the two's complement encoding of uh, minus one would be it's four two nine. Four nine six seven two nine five. Now, if you do the same thing, it shows root. 
This vulnerability is caused because the UID is passed to the set res UID and set re UID system calls by sudo to change the effective user ID of the command. So here set res UID, re is real and effective. When minus one is passed to the system calls to change the effective ID to minus one, the system calls treat minus one as special case where it doesn't change the user ID. Since by default sudo runs as root, minus one means continue as root and the system calls return zero which is root. The sudo log entries that report the command to be run uh, by the user minus one or the unsigned two's complement equivalent of minus one. Well, now because the user ID doesn't uh, exist in the password database, no PAM session uh, modules will be run and PAM basically is uh, used to authenticate users. So if you remember that we added VI uh, also to be run uh, as any user except root, we can escalate our privileges simply by using VI also. So we can do that by doing VI. Hey, we can also use minus one. So we'll use that. That's simpler. And use the escape and do bash. And there we go. We are root. We get a shell with root privileges. The fix for this vulnerability is to update your sudo version to 1.8.28. Uh, this was a quick video demonstrating the sudo vulnerability. Please comment on the video to tell me your views on this vulnerability or if you have any suggestions. In the end, we see how it's the basic and simple bugs that are still at large. This shows how important it is to sanitize user import input before passing them to system calls. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.